So this question comes from Krakos N. Um, I'm currently doing my final year uh, computer science bachelor's degree, and I've started thinking about my master's for next year. I'm a bit confused, though, about what to follow, because I would like to follow something that will have a really good impact on my future career. I'm thinking about master's degree on computer engineering, because I'm really excited dealing with circuits and different components that you have to wire up and then write some code about it. On the other hand, I'm thinking about cybercrime. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That's so, that's so original, the idea of cybercrime. Really, where did you come up with that one? Um, I think that not many students choose this these days. Mm -hmm. So I'll have more chances to get a job when I finish. I'm kind of excited for both. That's why I'm kind of struggling about what to follow. Um, blah, 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 blah. So the question there here is, this person is finishing up their bachelor's degree uh, in computer science, and they're looking to, to what next to go for for their master's degree. Now, the first thing that I will bring up, the first thing that I will bring up is, are you sure you want to go for your master's degree yet? Um, the bachelor's degree in computer science, unlike in most other degree programs, actually, in fact, is worth something. You can actually go out and you can get a real job, real job that's going to pay the bills very well with a bachelor's degree in computer science. So the first thing that I would caution you on is whether or not you really want to go out for a master's degree yet. And the main point being is you don't really know what you want your master's degree in. Computer engineering is great, and cybercrime, if you actually get a program that was worth a damn, is great. But they are two different critters. I mean, they are two different things, right? So when you're saying you're on a toss-up between those two, really what that says to me is that you should probably go out and get some real-world experience and then figure out what it is you really want to do, where you really want to get your master's degree in. Even going out and getting a year hands-on experience will open up uh, a lot of doors, will open you up your eyes to a lot of possibilities that you may not realize exist. And again, with a computer science... Uh, with a bachelor's degree in computer science, you should be able to get a job that pays well. And then the other thing, too, is with a lot of the master's degree programs, at least here in the United States, you can go to school while you work, so it may take you a little longer. So really, I mean, that's the best way to go. You get out with your bachelor's degree in computer science, you get a job doing something hopefully vaguely interesting, you start to figure out where you want to go, you start the master's degree program while you're working, your experience goes with your education, and that can really catapult you into something good. One of the major problems that I see with people coming out of these college degree, the, these degree programs is they frankly, they don't even, you know, they come out with five or six or more years education and they don't even understand the industry. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, they, they, they know all this stuff, but unfortunately like 99% of it is worthless. Um, so that would be the first thing. The first thing that I would say is really, honestly, go get a job, do the job for a year, and then figure out your master's degree. I'm betting you, if you do real computer science work for a year, what you're going to want to do a year from now is probably going to seem a lot different than, than what you currently think. Now, as far as the whole computer engineering versus cybercrime, I have no idea why the hell you think most students don't choose cybercrime nowadays. Cybercrime, 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 cybercrime. All I fucking hear about anymore is cybercrime and ethical hacking and all that, that's that crap. Everybody is going after this degree program. And I would argue don't. I would argue do not do this. I got actually some of the best uh, career uh, advice in my entire life from a police officer who stopped me for uh, for a taillight being out. And uh, so uh, so my taillight was out, and he came up, and he was writing me the, the, the normal whatever. And I said something about getting a criminal justice degree. I was asking him. You know, I talked to everybody. And I was asking him what it was like in the county, whatever county was he was in, what it was like to be a police officer. And so we were chatting back and forth as he wrote me up. Because, again, I, I was in the wrong, and he was in the right. So he was writing me up, and we're chatting, right? You can always get information out of people, even if they are giving you a $25 ticket. So I was talking to him and then he said, you know, what, what degree program, uh, what degree do you have? And I said, criminal justice. And I just remember this police officer. Like, I, so I'm asking about how to be, a, about being a cop. Tell him my, my degree program, criminal justice. And I just remember this cop looking at me with a far harsher look than he had looked at me when I had a broken taillight and said, why? And I looked at him. I was like, what, what do you mean? Why? I, I want to do law enforcement. And I just, he just looked at me with that look. And he said, if you have a degree in chemistry or biology or computer science or any of these things, you can be a cop. Or you could also do one of these other professions. If you get a degree in criminal justice, 
it's no better for you to get the job, um, and you can't really do anything else, which I would agree with. I do have my criminal justice degree, but that's not exactly how I get paid for anything. Um, so that's kind of what I would say with this whole cybercrime thing, is if you're really good with computer science or computer engineering or any of this other stuff, you can learn cybercrime, ethical hacking, all that kind of stuff. It's a very small niche compared to the overall uh, uh, field. Whereas if you focus on cybercrime, you're not necessarily going to be able to do anything else. So I would say just, just don't do cybercrime. Uh, again, if you can go to an Ivy League school that has an amazing cybercrime program, and there are some of them out there, you know, ethical hacking, security, cybersecurity. There are some just, just amazing cybersecurity schools out there. Um, there's a couple. Like two, three, four <laughs> out of the zillion programs. Uh, if you can get one into one of those and you can pay like the $50,000 a year to get into it, by all means do. But don't just get into any old cybersecurity program because most of them are crap. Basically what most cybersecurity programs are is they're just a marketing gimmick so that the dean of the school can buy a bigger car. They, you go in there, you learn a bunch of crap, you come out, and you're essentially worthless. On the other hand, if you go in and you get a computer engineering degree, you get your computer engineering degree, you are valuable, people actually care about you, so on and so forth. And if you then decide to go into this whole cybersecurity or thing further down the road, you have a much better base to do that from. Again, you have this master's degree and you go and you take some classes or you do some training and it's very easy for you to do that. Um, so yeah, so overall, yeah, hands down, hands, mow the button down, go for the computer engineering degree. Um, but the, the, the better advice I would give you, the better advice I would give you is simply don't, 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 don't go for a job yet. Why? You don't have any experience. Remember, a master's degree is supposed to be a professional level degree. So what I would argue is you should go out, get some experience, get some computer science experience. Don't work at a restaurant. Get some computer science experience. Do that. And again, after I am betting you dollars to donuts, when you get done with a year of actually working in the computer science industry, you're going to have a different viewpoint about what you want to do and what's important for you. Uh, and you will be better off just all the way around. That that, that would be my advice, but no, stay the hell away from cybercrime. Cyber no, 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 no. <laughs>